Hey everybody, welcome to the 2018 Nantucket Open. This is a Thursday skins match. This was doubles that took place before the event. My name is Robert McCall, and with me on the mic today, we've got a special visitor to Emporia. Uh, this is Chris Clemens. What's up, man? How's it going? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, uh, as you kind of see in the background, we've got uh, we've got some skins action going on. And tell us a little bit about what the environment is like on something like this. Uh, it's pretty relaxed. You know, everybody's competitive, but the the most important thing is to have check fun. One, check yeah, one. and I think we're gonna see lots of fun was had here. Yes. Check, check. Always. First tree on the left. Here we go. We got big germ on the mic, so you know it's gonna be an adventure. First on the tee box, perhaps the hottest player on tour right now. Wow, the hottest player on tour. That's like. Uh, I don't know if Jern had a girlfriend at this time or not, I, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> who he's got who some knows, really man. green pants on though? That's yeah, for sure. he's getting after it. She's got some loud shorts on too, though. So fits right in. Yeah. Paige leans into. I think that's a ballista pro, and that's in the fairway, not super high or anything, but not bad. Right, right. The fairways here are pretty fair. If you, if you throw a good shot, you should be in the fairway. Next on the tee is Sarah Hokum. The MVP Open champion, Sarah Hokum. She's going to kind of be throwing some lines that I would throw as a yeah. backhand lefty yeah. player. You darn lefties. This course sets up well for a lefty. It really does, yeah. Right where you want to be. And that's smashed out there on the right side. That's, that's looking pretty good, in my opinion. That's very good. We got Eagle on a bike right there. Who knows what he's doing? Who knows? You never know with Eagle. On tour. Austin, the 2017 Nantucket Open champion tournament. <laughs> That's quite quite the nickname for Austin. Yes. Yeah, he won this tournament uh, last year. Or I guess now two years ago, but uh, lots of experience out here. Yes. And he'll show you some lefty lines for sure. And that seems like a pretty fortunate tree, um, but, you know, I think he would have been fine either way. Yeah, the, the fairways are kind of fast here, so you do get skippy, and if you do get off the fairway, there's almost no getting out. It's uh, it's pretty severe. Yeah, no no joke there. On the tee now, we've got Tina Stenitis, who became Tina Oakley this very weekend. Yes. Uh, she and Eric got married in Nantucket. She gets a little spin on the end of it, a uh, little extra flair, maybe on purpose, maybe not. Who knows? Yeah. So this is alternate shot doubles. So if you uh, yeah if you chose for the female partner to drive, then the male partner is going to be throwing the second shot. So this is Euliberry. I believe he's paired up with Paige Birkus. Yes. And I think the Oakleys are playing together. She's got the pretty flower in her hair. Yeah, she she likes that sort of stuff, you know. And that's a really good shot for Tina right there. She's saving Eric right now. Yeah, absolutely putting the team on her back. This is Castro. He got paired up with Sarah Hokum. And that's a little little early in Heiser for him. Yeah. Fuse, you think? Uh, that looked more like a putter, I think. Okay, Marshall so maybe. maybe. Yeah, I think he throws Marshall. Sweet. He probably should have thrown a fuse. Might have yeah. flipped up. Guess so. That's a that's a good approach from Paige right there with a suspect. I think uh I think that Austin is her partner. Yes, that's correct. So Paige is just Kind of having a pitch out of the woods here. I think Uliveri pushed his shot a little bit too far to the right. So you can see she's Ooh. five feet off the fairway, and you couldn't even see her. Yeah, yeah. So it, it gets pretty nasty. Yeah. If you get in the tall stuff here, you're in trouble. It's, yeah. it's not much fun. So this is Oakley for their par. That's just a little bit too low. He's not feeling that. And he gets a little <laughs> rasp. Short. So this is for the skin. Little g after putt gymnastics. Yes, Austin has a lot of fun here. I think he really likes it here. I actually got to play one of our rounds at Nantucket with Austin. That that was super fun. Austin and Yuli. Um, yeah, uh, that was a fun card for sure. It's hole one down. So 150 dollars in the pocket of Paige Pierce and Austin Turner. Well done. You guys moving over to uh, hole two here. Um, give it up for Austin and a reachable par three. You, you kind of have to keep it low and get a good moving skip if you're a righty. A How do lefties so we play will this? Have the uh, I'm trying to think of format. which hole this is. Um, tough shot. Let's tough see shot. here. Yeah, we'll see the fairway in a second. Yeah. 
Yes. Well, they're saying as tough soon shot as a format, team is so. pulled out, they are. Oh complete. yeah. Both partners will throw their tee so shots players, and go yeah. from the worst lie all the way until one partner completes the hole. This hole is worth. $150. Another 150 Yeah, so Off each player has to throw, then they take the worst of those two shots, and Ooh. you're only done with a hole once you uh, once one partner holes out. Both both partners don't have to hole out. Paige Pierce takes felon here. Oh, okay, this hole. Yes, yeah. I remember now. So basically the exact line that she threw, basically what Austin's about to throw. Yeah. Forehand. I gotcha. And I'm pretty sure that's a force from Austin. He's, he loves throwing those, and... That's a little deep of the basket, but that's a good shot. Yeah, penetrated the it's not bad. Yeah. I have a putt. Paige changed shirts. So, new flair for her. Maybe she brought a new shirt for every hole. Probably not, but maybe. You never know. Oh, and she gets sneaky through wow. there. And she oh, almost aces it. Wow. Super parks it. Wow. Giving you a really great chance here to put them inside putting range for the birdie. Uliberry was throwing a super overstable disc. I think he was throwing an X2 here and just forcing it over. Yeah. That's kind of his style. X1, sorry. Yeah, and that's beautifully done. Easy peasy. It's not often that in tough shot you get a you get a birdie, but they've got a really good look at it. Yeah, any music that you're hearing is uh, definitely Big Germ's choice. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just to be clear. That's right. I, I've there. always uh, figured he'd be it a big fan of Hollaback Girl, personally. Yes, so yes. <laughs> now we know that for I sure. I confirmed. wasn't surprised when I heard it. Not at all. He also DJed at the Oakleys reception at their wedding, so that was yeah. pretty cool. Castro, pure in the line, just a bit right. I think that's his bard or felon? Okay. I'm not sure what that was. He, he changes discs fair, fairly often. Yeah, yeah he's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's a beautiful line. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's good. Yeah, coming in a little bit short, but penetrating that first part of the fairway is the most important thing here. Yeah, you know this is a felon from Eric. I feel like Eric is very clean cut looking, and it's probably because of the wedding. Yeah, he got the haircut, he shaved. Yeah, I and if he seen had like that in a while. Yeah, if he had some of the extra hair, maybe it would have kept him from hitting that tree. Yeah, I think he he wasn't ready to pull through that fast. Yeah, so let it go a little bit early. That's all right. Poor guy. It was weird to see him without a beard for sure. He, very much. He looks good though. Yeah, yeah. As good as he can. Anyway. Well, you know, <laughs> considering the circumstances. Right. Ooh, long look, pretty good shot. There's AJ Risley on a camera back there. Oh my God. Is there anything that guy can't do? I don't know. Uh, probably. Oh well. Throw throw forehands. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think he throws lefty forehands. Yeah, he's crazy with the with the righty lefty stuff. I think he is left handed. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, Austin looks like he's setting up to just absolutely breeze this in there. Yeah, I think that's a buzz OS. Yeah, and he cranked on that. Like, that. he threw that hard. He was trying to throw it in. Yeah, I just imagine. make it. They, they know that uh, now that is a fuse he's putting with. Ooh, yeah. Get a little extra float on those yeah, long jumpers. Yeah, it's a very old fuse. Yeah, the teams here, especially playing tough shot, know that um, Uliberry and Paige Burekis are – just super parked, so they're just trying to throw it in. Not much success so far. Lots of good runs, but not bad. And this is from the, the worst of the two, so Castro. <laughs> he didn't Castro like that. It a bit. Yeah, <laughs> his face tells it all. Just yeah. like, it's probably that shirt, San Francisco Giants. I don't know where. Yeah, that's, that's that's weak in my opinion. It, I thought he was a Twins fan. Well, he's originally from California, yeah. San Francisco, so that could be. This is Hokum for their three. Oh, yeah, just off the top. It's Paige Pierce for their three. Oh, wow. what's up? I had a putt from over there during the actual tournament, and she made that look a lot easier than mine did. Yeah, I don't think I birdied this either time, and it's, it it's really not that hard of a hole. No, it's right there. You expect to get it, but if you hit a tree, you're probably not getting it. Page B taking advantage of the tough shot, and they, uh, they're going to take the birdie right there all by herself. Yeah, and I mean, Uliberry just picked up. She, she just handed Uliberry his disc because hers was even closer than that. So nice little birdie for those guys. 
Moving over to hole three. This is a uh, this is a sort of a hole that you like here. Uh, for me, it's a forehand, but for you, nice easy backhand skip hydrant. Yes, I think I was throwing a, a verdict, or I think I tried a felon too to make sure I got that skip. But honestly, it's just throw it down there low and let it funnel to the, ba to the basket. Definitely. Players will be very upset. You got to keep it pretty low though. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of branches that really prevent you from throwing, like, the natural height you'd want to. Right. So I was throwing more of a distance driver um, just to make sure and keep it under those branches and still get the skip. You threw forehand? Uh, yeah, it was yep. an enforcer for me. Yep. I think this is a trespass for Paige. And she's going over the top. Yeah, up and over everything. She's crazy. I mean, that's, that's a jumper. It's probably 80 feet. Almost like it will be going for an ace run here. Yeah, I think this sets up pretty well for you, Lee, in his forehand. Well known as one of the top 15 to 20 best side armors of all time on tour. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Big Durham's just hitting him with yeah. it. I respect it. Man. I don't know if that's a compliment or I'm yeah. not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think most people would argue he's slightly better than that with yes. a forehand, so I think Big Durham's just uh, messing around with him. I think Paul is one of the most accurate forehanders inside of, like, 350 feet. I agree. Like, he... He just puts a pinpoint every single time. Yeah, his form is so clean there, too. That's a bio defender, I think. I throw those a lot. Yeah. Hey, and that's a and great that's shot. It does. Yeah, I mean, that's, what, 8, 10 feet outside the circle, but fighting through a branch, that's going to give her team a look. And this is a hole that Austin should eat alive. I mean, yep. easy lefty hyzer. Austin Turner with a low line. Skip right Straight Ooh. skip. Not a great skip for him, but that's going to be fine. They're going to be putting from there. It's a fusion enforcer. And that's smooth, man. <laughs> Telesbo just acting like nothing happened, but we know something happened. He uh, he Come went on, home after that. <laughs> He's done. He did. <laughs> he was so embarrassed that he just flew home. And that's that's a textbook tee shot. I mean, 100% parked. And if not for Telesbo, they'd probably have a guaranteed birdie. But yeah. Thanks a lot, Chris. Chris is doing that. <laughs> Those free are just getting away. Not a bad shot for Tina. Ended up ending up on the left there. So, yeah, probably benefit Eric to just try and ace run this and dunk it in one. I wonder what he's throwing. <laughs> hey, probably a felon. I would uh, maybe, maybe so. Kobe Geis in the house. One of my favorite people out there. Tina put a lot of juice on that, but it fought through a little bit of the rough there. It looks really pretty there. Yeah, it this is really pretty. This is such a cool course. I, I loved getting to play out here and it's like you said, the fairways are fair. You know, they're they're wide enough. But if you get off, you are in a world of hurt. Yeah, I don't rem quite oh. remember what the par was there. It was. It's it's into the 60s. There's yeah, lots of was, par fours and fives. Yes, and so you think that, and you really can. You think about the course, and you can birdie a lot of holes, but you still got to throw the shots. Yeah, definitely. But it's fun to play because you can achieve a lot of shots out there and get birdies. Definitely. That's a good look for Paige, but ultimately they'll be settling for par most likely. There's AJ again. He's not dancing or anything. It's yeah, weird. Out of character for him. Yeah. I think he used to record with Terry Miller way back in the day. Yeah. And so Terry asked when he was him the disc golf help. boy. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Yeah, he does a good job for sure. Austin is pretty darn good at these little steppers. Mm, just a little high right. Got to be those pink shorts. Yeah, it's got to be that. Come on, man. He belongs on the beach. Better fashion choices equate to made putts. Yes. Oakley with a nice little floaty putt there. I feel like Tina should be wearing Austin shorts, and then and then we're in business. Oh, boy. That's a full outfit. All pink, yeah. Or Austin should be wearing Tina's shirt. I think they're about the same size. Austin wears some pretty tight shirts. <laughs> he likes the schmediums, huh? He does. He does. <laughs> man, I love Austin, man. He cracks me up. Oh, yeah. And Castro for the skin here. Mm. Hey. Oh, when you're good, you're good. I like that. Little nose up so it can crawl over the rim. Castro's a good spin putter. Yeah, he is. He's got, he's got good wrist action for yep. sure. 
Yeah, I don't remember the part either, but I remember like 55 was the best score we saw all day, 55 or 54, and that was like shredding. Yeah, I mean, we shot and we shot like 60, 58 or something, and playing like pretty decent. Right, right. I mean, it's just it's just one of my favorite courses I've ever played. I mean, I'm a little biased because I'm left-handed, but it's just so much fun to play. Cause it's just so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, this was, I mean, getting to play this tournament, I just had, I had an absolute blast out here. That's a fusion enforcer. One of the old ones who call them greenies. Yeah. Jordan Locastro. <laughs> Him and uh, Nico are brothers. That's you right. Guys little little know. known fact. Little yeah. known fact. We're back to alternate shot here. So we got Castro on the tee, then Eulaberry. That needs to flip. And this is one of the, I think, one of the easier par fours on the course. Um, you could throw almost anything as long as it stays straight and have a decent look at the basket. Yeah. You do not have to overpower something. Yeah, usually a, I think a fairway driver, just something that isn't going to skip too much or get offline. Yep. And uh, then throw a mid range. Oh my goodness. Not, not some, not, not the best group of tee shots. No, no. I think people usually in doubles you get a little antsy and you want to go for stuff. Yeah. You play a little different when you're playing by yourself. Hundred percent on that. So I think people are being a little more. They're taking some more risks than yeah. they normally would. Which you like because you know ultimately in skins, as long as two people get the same score, no big deal, right? So yeah, you're trying to, you're trying to go nuts. He's looking way up in the air. I don't know why. <laughs> Because he, he followed it, yeah, yeah, absolutely. He followed it up with a low screaming yeah. forehand. Maybe it was the wind. He was trying to get a read off. Yeah, of maybe it. so. P PBJ just getting back to the fairway here. Not bad. That's like a, I don't know, 80, 90 feet. Savable four from there. And this is from Castro's drive. That's a really good shot. So yeah. it's gonna give Castro, yeah, inside the circle putt for three here. Oh, that's a hateful branch there. That was a little good looking line. Yeah. Grenade. Look at this thing. Oh, boy. Wow. wow. <laughs> that's a great result. Super good shot from Eric. That's, that's pretty good. This is like, uh, so this is not even close to how loud the Raz round was um, after the tournament's over. And. Uh, I think you guys were going to really enjoy watching the coverage of that, but we're also a quick plug for the GBO. Sorry, Terry. But, uh, yeah, we've got the Raz round that we're adding to the GBO this year, and it's just going to be nuts. Like, yeah. I can't wait. I was a part of it, uh, and so so were you. Yeah. And we got to walk around, and Jeremy Rusco was there, and he – he uh, just had a smile on his face the whole time, and so I think he was like, "Man, we need this." We gotta have with this. like a thousand people. Yes, it's gonna be insane, definitely. And big up to uh, to Jordan Castro hitting that putt for the birdie three. That's gonna net them two skins overall. Paul Uly and Paige B sitting with one skin along with Paige and Austin. We have a par five. That means it is a best shot format. Nice. Both players will be able to play from the best line this is moving a tough forward all the way until the hole yeah, is definitely. completed. This hole is worth a whopping one hundred and two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Last skin going to Jordan. And best shot here is super beneficial because man, like. It's so easy to penetrate 95% of the fairway and then just get snookered behind a tree. Yes. And so, yeah, finding finding something in the fairway here is super important. If you do that, um, your second shot is pretty easy, and then you can get an easy easy four. But I think these guys are probably going to push for a three. Yeah, I think so, too. I When I practiced this, I... Uh I debated, you know, throwing kind of a 400-foot, you know, kind of control shot or just really going all out and trying to get as far as I could. Right. And Castro did it about perfect. That's about as good as it can get right there. That should open up the roller angle for them if they really want it. I think this is the one which blew my mind from watching the video um, that Sexton went forehand roller, forehand roller, eagle. I like that. I just don't even understand that. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure I forward this both times I played it, and I was stoked both times. Yeah, four is really good. 
A three is there. When you practice it, you're like, yeah, I can eagle this. You definitely. Know, I'm, I'm definitely going to get a birdie. But then when you play it, you hit one tree and you're like, well, I'm well, getting a par now. Maybe maybe par's good. Yeah. Yuli going with a super flippy roller, and that's an aggressive play. That looks good. That is down there. Oh, boy. Bro. Oh, my goodness. That's flown so far past I any drive that I've seen down there. I almost took Eagle out. <laughs> that's nuts, man. That's that's very impressive. Yeah, they probably have 350 feet to the basket. Maybe? Yeah, that's probably a good 500 feet or more. Yeah, and and through through the woods too. Come on, man. It's a bio defender from Paige. Looked a little inside, but that's gotten through everything, and that's way down there also. Look, that that's Castro's right, that she landed right next to. If it, if it's me in that situation and we get to those discs, I'm definitely letting her know that I outdrove her. I'm sure Castro did too. <laughs> he, eh, I don't know. Castro's quiet. Sometimes. Yeah, he's a pretty nice guy. Yeah. Same line as Paige, and that's also way down there. God, they're making this this drive look so easy. It's pretty much right where you want to be. Yeah, and it's not this. This isn't an easy drive. They're making it look much easier than it is. Yeah, there's kind of there's usually you know one or two lines that are right in front of you. That you know you kind of should throw. It's yeah. The the open, the open gap, but there's a lot of trouble. Yeah, definitely. It's a good line from Tina moving back to the left. You know what that was? Captain, maybe. I think so. Yeah, I think that's right. But this is a thief from Eric. A guaranteed roller right here. Oh yeah. If he's aiming left, it's got to be. Kind of thrown by the fact that he's not wearing pants right now. It is very weird. Oh, oh that had some heat on it too. Yeah. I think that was promising. He's gonna try it again. Yeah, might as well. And that's a little too much cut out of the box. He needs that to move right. Hey, that's not bad. That's good. Yeah. They can four from there for sure. Yeah, pretty easy. Nice turnover. Yeah, that's a pretty shot. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> I like I like Big Jerome on the mic because he's hyped, dude. Yeah. He's ready. <laughs> he's always that way. Yeah, for sure. No matter what. I don't know what Paige rolls. Oh, unlucky hit right there. That was looking good. It seemed pretty stable. Yeah, def she definitely forced it down. Austin immediately falls to the ground. He's he's not very pleased with that effort. He's shaking. Yeah. Or as the kids say, he's shook. Yeah. I've heard him say that. I'm not sure. Lit. Right. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you get a little uh, sense of what's going on out here. Everyone's just enjoying themselves. Like, yeah, there's money on the line, but people are just having a good time. And I can't, I can't say enough good things about the Nantucket uh, tournament. It's just, it's one of the most fun experiences I've ever had. Yeah, uh, Jordan Castro has been telling me about it, and he, uh, he was like, "You're coming this year," and I was like, "Okay, man." All right, here we go. And uh, it was amazing. Ooh, that's a great shot from Castro too. Just everything about it. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, going to get breakfast in the morning and just. The course and everybody there, which is awesome. Ooh, look, food. Look at that shot from Paige. Wow. What is it? Ballista Pro? Uh, I think that's a trespass. Oh, wow. And that's, that's from way up there from Yuli's roller. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, the uh, just to go back to the tournament, um, the, uh, the rainwaters just make you ab feel like absolute royalty out there. Oh, Todd, yeah. Todd and Louise are just such great people and uh, really, really just want to make sure that everyone has a good time and that this is a uh, like it's a viable tournament for these guys to come to because it's not cheap to get over to Nantucket, you know. Right. You got to take a ferry to get over there and then to stay and everything. But uh, Todd was amazing and I had never met him before and I heard stories and stuff of people who came to Nantucket. And uh, the first time I met him, you know, he like sat down and talked to me. Yeah, asked me how I was doing and, you know, wanted to know where I was from and what my story was. So he actually cares about yeah. all of us. Yeah, they're such good people. I, I really enjoy uh, getting to hang out with them. 
It's a good run from Austin knowing that Paige is parked there. I think that's a buzz OS from him, if yeah, I remember correctly. I think yeah. so. It's an eagle bid. Ooh. Just a bit long, not bad. This footfall from Paige, I saw her step on the disc, so. Mm -hmm. It went uncalled, but uh, I'm, I'm calling it now. Yeah. All right, so two putts for the skin here for the eagle on hole five. Wow. Bang, bang. I think I remember watching that putt. Yeah, that's that's just plain old nasty, man. Yeah, she dropped it way up there, and then it just kind of floated just right, floated right in. Yeah. So they are firmly in the lead right now. $550 worth of skins. Paige and Paul, along with Paige and Austin, also 150 And the Oakleys, not quite on the board yet, but we got yeah, a few holes left. They're getting there. They probably have their, mind, their minds elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, you know. they, they got other things to think about. Looks like some wind's picking up a little bit. Moving on to hole 16, we have another par four. Alternate shot. Format continues from hole four. This hole is worth three hundred dollars. Ooh, moving up, nice. Uh, so hole 16, 17, and 18 are the holes that they used for, for the Raz round as well, and they're. It's so frustrating because they're so right there. Like these are not difficult holes whatsoever. But when there's all the distractions and people, you know, yelling in your backswing and stuff, it just changes everything. And yeah. so it was a great experience. I don't want to spoil anything, but this hole's what 582. Yeah. And, uh, I I'm pretty sure I saw somebody throw it about 580 feet. Yeah. It was it was crazy. At least close to it. It was yeah. We won't say what his name is, but you'll see soon enough. Oh, he nicked a tree. Yeah, that's a that's a rough little kick for Austin there. You really just need to be in the fairway here. Now, honestly, you could throw like 250 feet in the fairway and still feel comfortable about getting to the basket. Yeah, I think I threw a forehand and kind of pushed the right side with a felon. Yeah, just playing for a three. Yeah, I I played the just an easy getaway shot. <laughs> I really like that the uh, <laughs> they're playing for three hundred dollars disc golf five hundred or five dollar dance contest. And I think the results really reflect the amount that, yeah. <laughs> that they're playing for I here. I mean, Eagle's trying pretty hard. Yeah, he's, he's doing his thing. He's hitting him with the floss. <laughs> Looks good out there. I think this is a roller from Muley. This is his really, really understable. I think this was either a D2 or a D3. I can't remember which. It's a tough oh, shot. Seems so roller. Yeah, not his best result, but from, yeah, like you said, standstill rollers are so technical and, like, I don't know. Watching watching guys do them really well like that, you can tell you can tell the guys who have put in the time. Yeah, for sure. That's it, right? I'm gonna throw this round thing. Do it. Ooh, that's a smooth forehand out for Tina. Wow. Sometimes it's uh, the approach you need. I'm gonna throw this round thing. That yeah, it, th that's all the thinking you need to do about yeah. it. Don't overcomplicate things. Is this Paige out of the woods? I think that's right. It's Castro from the absolute dead center of the fairway off of Hokum's Drive. Hmm. Yeah, that's a risky run when you play that hyzer. A lot of people opt for a little bit straighter approach. That's pretty good. Oh, beautiful uh, buzzle-ass approach there from Austin. I think that's for their par, so this is... Uh, it's Paige Bierkus throwing their third, and it's going to give them 45, 50 ish yeah. for their par. This is Oakley's third. I think he was running that. Yeah, I might as well at this point. Another footfall. You see the toe on the disc I there. I did, and I got to Nobody's see that calling that was a this. felon. That was an Oakley felon. Yeah, that's right. Castro threw. Ooh. Ooh, that's a pretty good look. 
So this is everybody putting for four now, I believe. Hmm. Just to the right for Tina. Paige just tries to. Oh no, that's for birdie for them. So they'll, they'll grab a skin there, I think. And that's Bert. Was that birdie? If they both got birdies, then it's pushed. Yeah, I thought yep. I thought everyone was putting for four. Okay. Yeah, so that's pushed to the next hole. Hole 17 is a uh, another low ceiling right hand backhand hyzer. You really need some skip to get all the way over to the basket. Or you can throw the forehand. I've I've never tried that personally because I'm not very good at throwing forehands. Yeah, I threw I threw a the forehand on this hole, so on the right side, yeah. opposite of Sarah. It seemed a little more open. Wow, she but, uh, made that fairway just look huge. Yeah, that oh was my impressive. goodness. God, what I wouldn't give to be able to throw a forehand like that. That's super impressive. To me. I think she likes this course. It yeah, a little very bit. well for her game. Castro with the felon. Rut row. Yeah, he, he got on that one pretty good. Pulled, pulled it just a bit. And I like the uh, commentary from Big Germ there. He said, Jordan Castro, no, no. Oh. Insightful. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's why he gets on Joe Mez, you know. Exactly. Ooh, that's looking good from Page B. Yeah, that's well done. Yeah, that's very well done. Really with a pure hyzer angle. Yeah, it's kind of a hyzer flip. Yeah, there's two inside the circle for them. That's that's a good result right there. This is Paige's felon, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Is it a regular felon? First run. Okay. Yeah. I think it came from Oakley before. Oh, uh, that would make sense. Yeah. See, Telesbo just came back after being super embarrassed. He's like, all right, I'm, I'm just still going to go check it out, though. Yeah. yeah. It's good for him to, uh, you know, rally and say, I want to be a part of this. He, Even though I royally screwed it up. Yeah. He's uh, he's a really nice guy, and he, he can recover. Things yeah. like that for sure. <laughs> That's right. Austin probably threw that with 450 feet worth of power. Like that was going for big skip. <laughs> that was screaming. Yeah. Tina throwing with the ill-advised cowbell in the background. Yeah. You're going to want to wait that out. That's a pro tip. Yeah, this was before the actual tournament, right? Yeah. The yeah. round was after. Yeah. That's right, yeah. But anytime you hear a cowbell in a song, you're going to want to wait that out. Just yeah. pro tip. Remember it for next time. Let's see if we can follow Sarah's line. Oh, yeah. It's like a wide line. Oh, super unlucky. Oakley, are you okay? <laughs> oh, germ. So we're back to worst shot here. Hopefully trying to skip it in. Whoa. Slow Yeah, lots of action on that. Yeah, the grass is pretty low here. You get a lot of action. Yeah, we were playing a lot of skips out there. I forgot yes. about that. Yes. So you could use that to your advantage, or you needed to throw something a little straighter, like mm -hmm. an explorer, get away, something that isn't going to skip a lot. Yep, just land it flat. She's going straight at it. Yeah, it looks like that was Tina. That's what Tina was trying to do, is take that skip out of play just a little bit. Not a bad approach there. Ooh. A little tree help, but yeah. a better approach than Eric. In your face, Eric. There you go. And I, I'm pretty sure this is a jokery from Sarah, um, a pro discus jokery. I think that's, I think that. Oh, uh, <clears throat> pardon us. Uh, <laughs> we don't have our uh, we don't have our bleep button ready right now. But yeah, that was definitely a jokery. Yeah, she loves forehanding that disc. Yep. There's your dog Ruby. Oh yeah, super cute dog. This is the fuse. Look at that thing just float. Man. man, he's so good at those long spin putts. Like yeah. giving it a chance, but still keeping it close. Yeah. It's crazy. Paige trying to drain it for Ooh. sure. Probably the Buzz OS again. Yeah, that's what it looks like. 
Not a bad result, but they're going to be outside the circle on worst shot here. Oh, Castro with a nice little anti run. Put that snap on it. Not a bad result from Hokum there either. This is their par putt for Paige. Ooh, putting some pressure on Yuli and uh, Paige Bierkus here. I think that's the second one she's made from like 50 or 60. Yeah, she's, she's so she's good. She's dropping those. them. So they're just outside the circle here. And that's a distance that Eulaberry is like so good at. Yes. Just pushes it a little left side. The flag was blowing when he putted. I noticed, and so he probably pushed it a little left, thinking the disc would flip. Yeah. Oh, and that's a that's definitely a missed opportunity for those guys. They're not going to feel great about giving up no. a birdie opportunity with 300 bucks on the line. Uh, no, it pushed, pushed skin, so it's got to be more than that. Yeah, it's Who, I, I didn't hear how much it was on this hole, but we'll find out in a minute. It's going to be a big chunk of change. Yeah, coming down to this par five, if somebody is able to throw down, uh, Birdie's probably not going to win it because his so best shot, you'd have, have to assume, would be an Hope eagle. Jordan Castro. <laughs> Next, we have Paige Birkis and Paul Ulibarri. And also with they skin themselves, Paige Pierce and Austin Turner. <laughs> Going into the final hole, we have a par five. This is a best shot format. We have three skins pushed here, or two skins pushed here, plus the 500 skins going into the final hole. Wow. Wait your turn to talk, Kobe, guys, which is never, thank you. That's $1,150 <laughs> going into the final hole. Wow, jeez. If this hole is not won outright, there will be a push, and the playoff will begin on hole one. Up first, Sarah Hokum. Jordan Castro. Eleven fifty on one hole, man. That's a that's a big playoff. Yeah, that's. And that's pure. She's not affected by the pressure. No, not even a little bit. This is another one of those holes. It's it's kind of similar to the par five we played earlier. It's really just pick your fairway and throw it straight down the middle. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's beautiful. And the little extra like nose up skip. That's I don't know what that was in Maverick. I, I, I think it's a saint. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yep. Little inside for Paige Bierkus. So it looks like, looks like Euliberry is not going to play the aggressive roller like the last time. Just play it down the right side fairway right here. He is, I think he's made the right decision. <laughs> yeah. That's a big shot. You put it on that hyzer line, it just kind of flips up, goes straight, but holds it the whole way. Yeah, I think he's one of probably the best technical throwers in the Ooh. game yeah. to, to be able to throw those types of lines. Oh, if that got through, I think Paige's disc probably would have gone about as far as Eula Berry's I there. think so. She put, she put the juice on it. I think that was a defender. Mm-hmm. I'm not 100% on what that is. It, uh, it might be a new, Yeah, 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 yeah. There Maybe. you go. Something I know he likes those. Yeah, something to just stand up to flat and go straight. Look at there. It's a smooth shot from Tina. Well played. Oh, and he just needs that to stay straight. Oh. <laughs> Good initial line for sure. The bike bells in the background trying to rouse wow. Tina. She doesn't care. She She's never, so consistent. She never cared right about there. Yeah, she never cared about one single bike bell in her whole life. So Eric's going to get really aggressive. Is that felon or enforcer? I think enforcer. And that's, that's a great really shot. well played. You made that thing look flippy. I'm yeah. sure it's not. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that's Paige's hey, Emac Truth. Wow. Was she throwing a, the Peter McBride one? That's the that P-Mac, yeah. Yep. So I'm pretty sure this is a nuke from Austin. Z nuke. Looks like it's got some dome to it. It's probably going big here. Yeah. Austin Turner. Yeah, you can you can see the flip up to flat and still moving to the right. But that's a pretty good shot. That's a huge shot. Yeah. That's a, I mean, that's a putt. Definitely, yeah. They're inside 100. Sarah has thrown another beautiful Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's going to open the door for Castro to kind of go crazy. 
He's got the little bit easier natural angle to work all the way to the basket here. That's his really beat-in bio-enforcer mm -hmm. he's had for years and years. Yeah, just a little low and then gets that cut roll because it's so understable. So the longest drive of the bunch is Eula Berries, and Paige doesn't quite get it over as much as she wants. It's, a, it's tough if you're pinned up against stuff here. Mm-hmm. Oh, Yuli's going to roll her here. Wow. Oh boy. Wow. The And the angle he let that go on, it, it looks like he was throwing a flat power shot. That's wow. incredible. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Like I said, I think a D2 or D3, I don't remember which, but that that's expertly played. Yeah, that was, you know, probably an inch away from probably not rolling at all. Exactly. But it was just so perfect that, I mean, he parked it. Yeah, that's that's nuts. So, that's a harp. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah, so Paul and Paige are squarely in the driver's seat here. They've got the best look for Eagle to take down $1,150. Goodness. That's a beauty. That's looking good. Easy birdie from there. Man, she never stopped carrying Eric, did she? Yeah, yeah he's, he's going to hop out of the backpack sometime, hopefully, but might not be today. I feel like they practice that together. Mm -hmm. Hey, if we get to play together in the skins, let's both throw this shot. Yep. All right, so here's a – that looks like about a 80, 90 footer for Eagle for Austin and Paige here. You see the wind coming off their left shoulder right there, left to right. Tough for Austin to get that one all the way there flat because of that wind. Ooh, that's a good look. I think that was Deputy. Yeah, I think that's right. So this is what it comes down to. This is Paige Birkus for $1,150 and Eagle. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Pressure squarely on her shoulders just drains it. That's a, that's a good feeling right there. Yeah. That's Anytime you make a putt, it's nice, but for that much money. For $1,150, man? It's way better. Yeah, I've yet to make an eleven $1 hundred fifty dollar putt. I yeah, I don't think I have either. <laughs> Maybe one of these days. Yeah. Super cool. Thank you guys so much for joining us for the uh, Nantucket doubles skins match that took place on Thursday before the event. Uh, like we said, we cannot give a, a big enough endorsement to Nantucket Disc Golf and Todd and Louisa Rain Rainwater. Um, such great people who care about disc golf, care about growing the sport, and making people feel great out there. So. Thank you guys so much for joining us for the video. And uh, Clemens, thanks so much for hopping on the mic. Yeah, man. thank you. I Definitely. appreciate you. Definitely. If you can make it out next year, make sure you do it. But I'm here for a good time. That pretty much accurately describes Kobe 24-7. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so at the end of the day, $1,300 in skins for Paige and Paul. Castro and Hokum following up 550. Paige Pierce and Austin Turner taking down the first hole. Not finding anything after that, and then the Oakleys—they're thinking about the wedding. They don't, yeah. I don't blame them. I, I've heard newlyweds don't really need that much money, the, so so they were probably like, ah, we'll let these other guys have it. Wow, I've I've never heard that before. I also haven't I'll heard that. You. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't heard that either. Thanks for tuning into the Disc Golf Guy coverage, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.